Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a very interesting Steam Deck dock that I recently got my hands on. Now on the channel, we've taken a look at two in the past and it was really before Valve officially released their own Steam Deck dock. But this one is offering something much different than we've seen before because this dock actually supports an NVMe M.2 SSD. So we've got an M.2 slot right here in the dock to add extra storage to your Steam Deck, be it in SteamOS, or we could use it to run a separate operating system from, like another variant of Linux or even Windows. And I think that would be my main use case scenario for a dock like this. So in this video, we're going to take a look at it working in SteamOS, the stock operating system that comes on the Steam Deck. Then I'm going to swap the SSD out with one I've already flashed with Windows 11. So they're calling this a 6-in-1 USB dock. It does have gigabit ethernet built in. And obviously when we're running an SSD or an M.2 SSD in this dock connected to the Steam Deck, we're not going to get those Gen 3 and Gen 4 speeds because we're just connected over USB, but this will be significantly faster than a micro SD card. And we'll take a look at a little bit of a comparison by the end of the video. But if we take a look around back here, we've got our power in full-size HDMI, two USB 3.1 ports, and over here on the side, we've got gigabit ethernet. I wish this was facing the rear of the unit, but this thing is definitely hefty. It is constructed of aluminum. We've also got that USB Type-C in, which is gonna plug right into our Steam Deck. And if we pop this top cover off, this is where our M.2 NVMe SSD is gonna go. Now I picked up the one terabyte version, already had a drive installed, and it should be ready to go for SteamOS. I think there's one little script that we'll need to install. Uh, it's on their website. We'll take a look at that when we get into testing. But overall, the construction quality looks good. It's not gonna slide around on the table due to the rubber feet on the bottom, and the Steam Deck is gonna sit in here perfectly. And by the way, the SSD that came pre-installed with the one terabyte version is a Lexar HM610 Pro. Okay, so setup is super easy. Uh, what I've got here is just a USB dongle for the new 8-Bito Ultimate Controller. You can use Bluetooth if you want to. I've also got a keyboard plugged in, HDMI, and power. I'm just using the stock Steam Deck 45 watt power adapter. As you can see, we're running SteamOS. We'll just go ahead and plug in that single USB Type-C cable. We're gonna get our video out of HDMI. Looks really good here, and it will do 4K60 or 2K120. I've tested it with a little bit of video playback in desktop mode, and it does 4K60 no problem at all. Obviously, you're not going to be able to play a lot of games at 4K on the Steam Deck, but stuff like Half-Life 2 actually does run over 60 FPS 4K on this device. I'm using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth to the Steam Deck. I'm going to head into my settings real quick. We'll go down to storage. And this does require a little bit of setup the first time you get it up and running. But if we go in here, you can see that our SSD is not showing up. And this really comes down to SteamOS. It's kind of Valve's fault. But JSOX has made this simple enough to get it up and running. We're going to head over to desktop mode. There is a script we need to run. We can download it directly from this docs product page. But if we open up a file explorer, we can see that SSD in Linux right now. I've already set mine up and formatted it ext4. Now, in order to do this, all you got to do is follow the instructions on the website. They've got a script you can download. And they've got full documentation right here. So once the drive is formatted correctly and you've installed the auto mount script, we're going to open up Steam. From settings, we'll choose downloads. And the very top option is add a directory. And Steam should already recognize that SSD. So we're just gonna add the directory, and now we can install games directly to this SSD. It's actually pretty simple to set up, but we do need that script right now, at least with the way Valve has the operating system set up right now. I'm just gonna download Cuphead and make sure it's gonna be installed on that SSD. So we're downloading now directly to the SSD. Once it's finished up, we can actually play it from the desktop, but I know everybody wants to play this from game mode, so we'll just swap back over there real quick. And now if we head into our settings from game mode, we'll be able to see that drive. It's set up as a Steam drive or a game drive. There it is. And we've got Cuphead installed, so we've got an extra terabyte of storage here with the Steam Deck in dock mode. We'll just load right into it. And you can play these games as if they were installed on the internal storage or an SD card. Now, I haven't done any, you know, game loading tests, 
but I know for a fact that this SSD is much faster than a micro SD card, and by the end we'll take a look at some speed tests that I ran with Windows. And while we're on the subject of another operating system, that's the next test I want to run. So this does work well enough for your Steam games using SteamOS, but I wanted to see how well it handled something like Windows running from this external SSD. So yeah, I really do think a dock like this with external storage would be great for running a separate operating system. And what I'm going to do here is just replace the SSD that came pre-installed with this simple Kingston 512GB NVMe SSD. I've installed Windows 11 on this drive here, and I can tell you right now that, yeah, it's definitely going to be a lot faster than running Windows from an SD card, but there is a little bit of setup we need to do on the Steam Deck first, at least from the BIOS, to get it to boot from this USB. This is actually really simple. First thing we need to do is enter the BIOS, and we can do this by holding the three dot button and volume up while powering it on. As soon as you hear that beep, let go of power, but keep holding those other two buttons. It'll bring us right into the BIOS. And basically what I want to do here is head over to the boot section, and I want this to boot from USB whenever it's plugged in. That way, all I need to do is plug it into the dock, turn the Steam Deck on, and it's automatically going to boot to my other operating system, in this case Windows, but it doesn't always have to be Windows. You could use a separate Linux distro if you want to. So from Add Boot Options, make sure it's set to First. That way it always looks for a USB drive or an SD card to boot from. I've got the dock set up exactly like it was when we are running SteamOS, the only difference this time is we've got that SSD with Windows 11 installed on it. And since we changed that boot option, every time it's plugged into this dock and then powered on, it's going to look for that boot drive, which just happens to be the SSD in the dock here, and it's going to boot directly from that drive. So yeah, this would be pretty awesome as kind of a dock setup. I'll go ahead and get right into Windows. And I've actually just gone through and set up a bunch of different stuff in Windows for the Steam Deck. But as you can see, we've got that custom APU, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 at 5500 megahertz, and the built-in RDNA2 iGPU. And this way I can actually play my favorite Game Pass games, because I am subscribed here. I can play them directly on the Steam Deck while I'm in dock mode. And I'm using that 8 o controller. I've still got that dongle plugged into the dock itself. If you've ever run Windows on the Steam Deck, you know that sometimes the built-in trackpads and the screen can be a bit funky with Windows. I mean, it was never really intended to run Windows, but they do offer drivers. But, you know, plugged into an external monitor definitely works out a lot better, in my opinion. And recently, Valve gave us a nice beta of the GamePad UI for Steam. You can easily enable this. I've done a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description. That way, when we start up Steam, It'll look just like the Steam Deck. But yeah, you know, I really do think it works out very well like this, running a separate operating system from it. Now, it does work with SteamOS, as we saw at the beginning of the video. You can install your games there. You could go through and use it in desktop mode if you want to. But this would be my use case scenario for a dock setup on the Steam Deck. And just to give you an idea of the speed differences between the SSD in the dock and a micro SD card, I ran a few tests using Crystal Mart. So on the left hand side we've got the Kingston 512GB NVMe SSD in the dock, running Windows with this test here. And on the right hand side we've got a 32GB SanDisk micro SD card. Now in my experience with the Steam Deck and the Raspberry Pi for years, I've always got better speeds out of lower capacity cards. So I just opted to use a simple 32 gigabyte card here. But as you can see, we've got a very significant speed boost when it comes to that SSD versus the micro SD card. But in the end, it's really up to you. I mean, you could always use an external SSD or even an external hard drive and set it up basically the same way with SteamOS, or you could even run an operating system from it. I think this is just a nice little package device that does work out pretty well. We've got gigabit ethernet, couple extra USB ports, and that M.2 slot. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in learning more, maybe even picking one of these up, I will leave a few links in the description. And, you know, if you've got any questions, let me know down below. But that's it for this one. Like always, thanks for watching.